Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at some important playback controls in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, everybody knows that when you hit the space bar, Premiere Pro will play and you hit it again and it stops. But there are more important controls that you might be missing, like play in to out, an in point and an out point. This is also important for people doing voiceovers. I, I get asked the question, why when I start another voiceover, does it go all the way back to the beginning? That's because you don't have an in point. So let's look at some important playback uh, controls in Adobe Premiere Pro. So right now, when you play, it's going to play from the beginning or play wherever the playhead was. So when I stop here, play here, obviously it's going to play. But in the edit menu in uh, Windows and the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, keyboard shortcuts, I'm gonna scroll down. Just down, to the letter P, you'll see some options here. Play audio into out is not set. Play into out is set. Control shift space, and that would be command shift space on the Mac. Uh, play into out with pre roll and post roll. I'll show you what pre roll and post roll are in a second. That's shift and space. Now, the other ones aren't set, but you could set these if you want. Like playhead, play from playhead to audio out, not just the out, but the audio out. Let's put one in there. I'm going to put shift, alt, and space. Shift, alt, and space. Okay. I'll click. Okay. All right, now let's explore that. First of all, let's explore putting an in and out point in here. You can use these shortcuts or the letter I or the letter O. So I can hit an I and I can hit an O. So to play from in to out, remember on Windows, it's control shift space. So I'm holding control and shift and hitting space and it jumps to that point and it will stop at the out point. I also want you to notice that if we go to the button editor, drag down our loop playback, click OK, you could turn on the loop and do the same thing. So this is Control Shift Space. Play in to out, go back to in, and loop around. Nice little option if you're trying to, if you're looking at an edit and you're not sure it's right, you can hit an in and out point. I also want to show you that you can mark in and out points by selecting one or more clips. Let me clear this out. So I'm holding Control Shift and X, it'd be Command Shift X on Mac. Wherever your playhead is and your track targeting is on the left, if I tap the X key, it's going to mark that point. Now you'll see the in and out point there. Control Shift Space, play in and out. So a great way to pick a clip, play the in and out, and I didn't even have to grab the mouse. If you wanted to select multiple clips, so let's select these clips. Now I'm hitting the slash key, and that will mark an in and out point between those. Okay, so of course we could play through that. Now I mentioned the pre-roll and post-roll. Pre meaning before, post meaning after, roll meaning play. So play before the in point and play after the out point. In the edit menu, again, the preferences, uh, it's in the Premiere Pro menu on Mac and in the playback preferences, you'll see a pre-roll of three seconds by default and a post-roll of two seconds. So let's leave that the way they are. And you see our, our playhead is over here. We're going to play. Remember the keyboard shortcut for that was shift space, which is play into out with pre-roll post-roll. So let me just do a, a shorter amount here just so we don't have to wait through all of that. 
For some reason, I've got to turn off the loop playback or the, the pre-roll won't work. Uh, so pre-roll, post-roll wants loop turned off because it's playing beyond those limits. So shift space, it jumps to the pre-roll. Now we're at the in point and it's going to play past the out point. Boom. And stop. You want a smaller post roll, pre roll, maybe that's too long. You really just want to check things out. So let's go back to playback. And let's change each one of these to one second. So one second pre roll, one second post roll, click OK. Let's select uh, the beginning clips here. And again, get my slash. Shift space. Now it went back to the beginning because that was one second before the end point. The end point was so close to the beginning that it went all the way back. So if we go back to here or set some random in and out point, space, and there it goes. All right. Now the other one that, that I uh, set was, let me clear that out, was play from playhead to audio out point. So I'm going to hold shift, alt space. And you'll see it's going to play. Now it's the end of the sequence, mind you, because we have audio happening. and it plays to the end of the audio out point. So there are several interesting ways to help control what you're playing back. And this is, you know, testing and auditioning and looking at different edits. That's why these options are here. Um, you combine them with the selection uh, keys. You're able to select, hit in and out, preview that, go back and remove that. And if you add the up and down arrows, up, 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 down arrows, now you can jump to those points very easily set different clips and uh, quickly audition those parts. All right, uh, by the way, all of the videos in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, 3D objects, and illustrations. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. And the music was from, of course, my favorite folks over at Artlist. There's an affiliate link in the description. If you're new to Video Reveal and you found tips like this important and useful, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more like our wonderful uh, PayPal supporters, you can do that monthly or a one-time donation. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel. If you want to be notified of our weekly tutorials, you've got to ring the bell down at the bottom and get notified. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith. And it's my job to make you more productive.